Welcome back, First Hour Faithfuls, to yet another episode of the First Hour. This is the show where I, Colin Tanner from Video Games Are Dumb, and you, the legions of First Hour Faithfuls, take a look at the first hour of a recently released video game. So remember to like, subscribe, share, and bring the fire in the comments below for this episode, Dungeon Travelers 2, The Royal Library, and The Monster Seal on the PlayStation Vita, of course. I'm playing this on the Vita TV or PlayStation TV. It's depending on your region, whatever they call it. It is PlayStation TV compatible, and that's how I'm recording this right now. Uh, you know, I do a lot of Vita games, lots of Vita videos on here, and to be frank, none of them are very successful. No one watches them. All the other videos do pretty darn well, but Vita games, not at all. But that doesn't mean I'm abandoning Vita. I just want to put that out there, because it has been a while since I did a Vita video. Maybe a uh, few weeks now, but there just haven't been any physical releases. I generally only cover the physical releases or larger uh, digital releases. Um, this is going to be a game that's going to have a lot of story in it, and I'm trying to do a different approach here. Whereas previously, I would uh, sit there watch the story, wait for the gameplay. In terms of a first hour, that's not a good idea. I'm changing it up now. Uh, we'll take a look a little bit at the story, but sooner or later, I'm just gonna skip right over to the gameplay. This is not a let's play. This is a first hour. We're here to look at the game, and uh, that's what we're gonna do with Dungeon Travelers 2 right now. I should note, I'd never played Dungeon Travelers 1. So, let me know how the first Dungeon Travelers was in the Absolutely. comment below. There was once an era in which the earth was inhabited by gods, humans, and an evil entity, evil deity, known as the Demon God. Under the flag of the holy maiden, Vittoria, humans battled for ages against the Demon God, and her pawns, also known as monsters, oh, original title there, yeah, call monsters, God's Era, year 395. In a matter of time, the royal alchemist Sigdard invented a technique for capturing monsters into a magical tome called a seal book. A new special class called Libras handled this sealing magic, which yielded tremendous results in regard to monster suppression. Thanks to their efforts, the monster's population plummeted, and eventually even the demon god herself was sealed away. Oh good, alright, but this is moving along good. The world began to flourish under the rule of humanity. It was year one of the King's era. Victoria had achieved continental unification through the hard work of mankind and succeeded the throne as the first queen of Romula. Kingdom of Romula, Founding History, Chapter 1, Section 10. Some time has passed. It is now the King's Era, Year 499. So what is that, 104 years later? Cool. Alright, let's put on... Otto. Freed Reinhard. So this is all Japanese voice acting. If there's not voice acting, I'll read it. Uh, I placed the book I had in my hand on the bookshelf and jumped off the ladder onto the floor. At the foot of the ladder, Irina Rosenmeier, the young chief librarian of the Royal Library, stood staring at me. So he's German? Okay. Not judging him because he's German. And I guess he used to be an intern, I assume? <laughs> Reorganizing the stacks. That's when you know you got a crappy job. And I'm good at a crappy job. So there's rumors about me too about being good. I'm a good worker. I don't, I don't understand. She was treating me like crap, but there are all these rumors like, this guy's incredible, and she just shows up like, hey! You done yet, you dingus? Oh, 
悪くない実践メインの図書館に配属を希望したでもなぜ魔物学なら法律研究所の方が無駄飯ぐらいのジーズの研究所で日がな一日カビの生えた本に囲まれて Yeah, drink it tea with a bunch of stuffy old men Sorry my dusty books なかなか言うね Doesn't look like we're getting any dialogue trees. So it looks like it's pretty much a straight narrative. Alright. Let's get going. You really can't skip this? Aha! Uh -huh. Now we got a dialogue tree. A rookie Libra who just started a few days ago is doing an or inordinate amount of office work. That means this is a Spartan style. I d neither of these seem like things I would say. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Alright, cool. So we're heading into battle, which is awesome. Oh, great. I accidentally did something weird. So now she's all testy at me. Hey, sweet. I got some stuff. Alright. Let's get into the gameplay now. Within the walls of Ectum, the royal capital lie the royal palace, the royal library, this and the city proper. Beyond those walls lurk dangerous monsters. However, thanks to the order of the Libras, the city has enjoyed 500 years of peace. Those protected by the walls go about their days blissfully unaware that their way of life is under constant threat. Brave men and women covered in sweat and dust continue to fight those monsters who exist outside the realms of everyday life. And now, another young man. Yes. Time to go. Is joining the Freya battle. Well, that was a weird pause. Oh man. Whoa. Okay. So, dirt in my mouth. A cloud of dust rose from the ground. Crumbled. Oh, you're just gonna talk no matter what, huh, buddy? Crumbled rocks filled the cave. I looked back at the way I had come from, only to see a giant boulder blocking the path. Um, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I'll let you know right here, that's not a giant boulder. That's just a bunch of rocks. That's going to change the layout of this cave. The small nameless cave had become a maze, and it looked completely different from the map I held in my hand. I crumpled up the map as it was worthless than the pink flyer Chief Irina had given to me. And I took a look around in my surroundings. Libras aren't trained in battle techniques, so they usually team up with skilled fighters from the Order to explore dungeons. And I can't even see an inch in front of my face, let alone the knights I'm supposed to meet. Yeah, this is just my luck. Bad luck always seemed to follow me back at the military academy, starting with the entrance exam and ending at graduation. That's why everyone called me Unlucky Honor Student. Not, not, a, not a creative name. Not a very creative name there. But this is the opportunity I've been waiting for, and I'm not going to let a little adversity stop me now. Now, where are those knights? Hello? Is anyone in here? Ooh, so here we go. We got the gameplay. It's a dungeon crawler. I can't be You know, I'm a little surprised. I was under the impression that Dungeon Travelers was going to be like a platformer or first-person shooter, but a dungeon crawler? Nah, I've seen everything. I'm sorry. Damn it! What's with all these tremors all of a sudden? I heard someone. Could it be a member of the Order? Hey, over here! Just as I started waving my hands at the human-like figures coming towards me. Human-like figures. They're humans, aren't they? If they're not humans, I'll be so confused why I use that. Ooh. Ooh. Look out, duck! Those are humans. Those are... Definitely humans, not human likes. Through the dust, I pushed the strangers out of the way of the falling rocks and into the darkness. Are you two okay? 
Yeah, huh? Oh. Oh. So it's one of these, huh? What are you doing here? The two girls in front of me wore the familiar faces of my old friends. I haven't seen you two since we all... What, do you, what does that mean, wore the familiar faces? That's, that's not really... Uh, we all graduated from the military academy prep school. You two haven't changed a bit. What a terrible thing to say. I've grown all, grown over an inch since I last saw you. Is that so? Well, I've grown almost four inches since then. Ah, uh, no fair. You're tall enough as it is. Give me some of those inches. I'd love to. Okay. Now, there's an innuendo in there. This is just like old times. How long are we going to just hold on this, this shot here? I mean, they, at least they're up front about it. They're just like, hey, it's been 10 minutes. Let's just show this girl's ass to you. Uh, it is, isn't it? He stopped hanging around with us when he decided to major in books. That's right. And he never returned any of our letters either. Uh, sorry about that. I got really busy and... Hey, enough about the past already. We need to focus on our present situation. Coming to my senses, I stood up and helped the girls to their feet. All right, you two aren't hurt, are you? We're fine. What about you, Freed? Melvi de Florencia, one of my classmates at the Military Academy's preparatory school. Melvia is the daughter of a high-ranking officer within the order. She was an honor student and well liked by her classmates. In fact, she was one of the most popular student. She was the most popular student in our class, but for some reason, she always hung around with misfits. Hey, you're all covered in dirt. It looks like you're hurt too. Alicia Hart, another classmate from prep school. Alicia is so small and frail, and she had trouble with her studies. And yet she was fearless enough to enter the night program, an elite course of study where only the best and brightest succeed. But to be frank, she's a carefree and optimistic airhead. <laughs> This will come off with water. What are you doing here, Alicia? Oh, I completed the night course. Ah, that's right. I remember you reading that. I remember reading that in one of Melvi's letters. You're both in the order now, then. Yeah, we're both part of the guards. Which means you two are the knights I'm supposed to meet. Then you're our new leader. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, it looks that way. Are you positive? Yay! Guys, this really isn't the time to be celebrating. Aw, oh, I'm just so happy that we all get to be together again. But we're all new to this. Rookie's fresh out of school. Doesn't that worry you? Worried? Nope. I can't believe Fried Einhard, head of the class, is worried. <laughs> oh, can you believe Fried is, Fried is worried? He's the head of the class and he's worried! What's going on, Free? We're not worried at all. We both know that you're the right person for this job. Yeah! I can't believe the Chief teamed me up with the two other rookies. But that those rookies are you guys is something else. Alright, fine. I'll bite the bullet. So, what do I need to know about this assignment? Well, the source of the earthquakes is inside this cave. So we need to investigate the cause of the quakes as we explore the cave, as well as subdue the monsters we encounter along the way. Okay, got it. Let's go. You can now open the camp menu. Alicia and Melvi have joined your party. I can turn that on, turn that off. Ooh, I can move sideways. That's cool. Can I pick something up over here? No. Let's go through this door. Let's get a good look at this stuff. So that's for HP, that cures skills. So she doesn't have any skills, she can heal through magic. Uh, and everybody's got stuff. I guess I don't need anything. Oh, that's what I look like. Hello, I was the head of the class. Uh, do we have any other items? There's no items in there. Cool, skills. Whoa, okay, wait a minute. So there are more skills. These are just skills that you can use. He healing is the skill you can use outside of battle, is what I'm going to assume. 
you know. Status. Alright. Formation. I don't know. I don't know what none of that means. Hopefully they can explain a little bit of the count. Okay, what is going on here? Okay. Okay. A monster covered in translucent gel appeared. That's the monster. Okay. Oh, our first opponent is a Slapion. Oh, this is normal. Good. It seems that this jelly-like substance has not yet been analyzed. All right. Let me check the feel. Oh, no. Look out. What? Did her belly button do something? Ugh. Be careful, Freed. It may only be a Slapion, but a monster is still a monster. <laughs> Ever since I've known you, you've always acted carelessly whenever something had to do some whenever something had to do with monsters. What? That is the greatest thing! That is the greatest line! Ever since I've known you, you've always acted carelessly whenever something had to do with monsters. What? I'm really alright. Uh sorry about that. I got a little too excited. I did too right there. Um, Libras need to lead from the back, please. Thank you. Oh, leading from behind? Huh. Yeah, thanks, Obama. We'll follow your orders. The battle has begun. Direct your teammates. Oh, boy, okay. So what do we got here? Depends, guys. We can check your status like so. So we don't know the status of the Slapyong. Interesting. So we don't know the... Really? That's fascinating. We don't know the HP of... Wow! Melvi is meant for healing purposes only, and I think I will actually change the formation next battle to put Alicia up front because she's actually dealing damage. Whereas Melvi can... I mean, let's try it again. No, 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 no. Result! To humans, a key. To evil, a cage. Shining proof of knowledge by the name of Sigdard! Okay. Do you guys probably know what that means? I don't. As I turn the Libra book to my vanquished foe, the weakened monster begins to em emanate... emit a bluish white light. <laughs> okay. Violent creature, return to my book! I don't think she ever left the book. The pages began to turn furiously as the light changed to droplets and a whirlwind drew the monster into a blank page. Ooh! The Libra book shook violently and the light began to spin as if to resist, but it eventually grew dim. Once the light had been completely absorbed, the thick letter cover of the book closed. <sighs> it's been sealed. Let's move on. Huh? What's wrong with you two? Whoa, that was awesome! We've never seen a Libra seal a monster before. Y you're amazing, Freed! You think so? To me, it's more impressive to see you guys use swords and magic. Really? But you look so cool sealing that monster, didn't he, Melvi? Huh? Y y yes, very cool. <laughs> Flattery won't get you two anywhere. What? No, I mean... By the way, Alicia, your shoulder pad is coming off. Whoa, that was a close one. What the... <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Is that a Japanese thing? And I, I mean, like, I, you know, I, I follow a bit of, of you know, the Japanese tradition trying to understand the basics here. You know, nosebleeds, virgins, all that kind of stuff. But hey, your shoulder fat's falling off. Like, what a red... Oh, man, this game is cracking me up. Okay, let's get going. We have more monsters to seal. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah! Got some gold! 
73 gold for me. All me. Everybody wants the gold, but I got the gold. There's a notice here. It reads, head westward to reach the east. All right, well then we'll go over here. Wait. Let me read that one more time. I don't think I... Oh, you can't read it again? Oh, I want to read it. Did it say exit or did it say... Oh, okay. Okay, sure, right. Got it. I'm gonna balance this out. Uh, skill. Fireball. I like the design on this. I like fighting oranges. Whoa, okay, yeah. Her attacks are projectiles, so if she's behind, will that allow her to still use her attacks, or will that in any way risk? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's adjust formation right now. Uh, front. Back. There we go. Ooh, what's going here? The door is shut tight. It seems locked from the other side. The road is blocked by rubble. You cannot continue any further. Great. Nothing in here either. Uh, how are you a monster? This just looks like leftover designs from Etrian Odyssey. See, I, I know. I know Japanese games. No one believes me. But, you know. Hmm. Can I have to attack her? She looks more threatening. All right, so let's see here. All right, that's awesome. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Eh, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get into some items. Uh, jelly made with copious amounts of slime. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Use it. Whoa, I didn't realize she was that far down in health. She's got 27. That yeah, she'll be fine. Oh, turn to world. Uh, yes? It wouldn't let me say no. What? What what just happened? Like, it really wouldn't let me say no. I'd say no, and it would just pop up again. I'm hungry. So am I. We haven't eaten all day. How did you get out of the cave? We didn't discover what, what happened with the quakes. We didn't, we didn't do that. Yay, the Libra shop. No, not, no, not okay. I want to know what the fuck just happened. I just healed them and that was it? So we, we're just talking about fucking pastries now, like, ain't no thing. N not okay. Ah, uh, okay. Monica Macy. Oh, we're here too. We're new here too. It's nice to meet you. Yes, I'm inexperienced, but I will do my best. My, this book cover is so cute. I think I'll buy two. One in pink and one in turquoise. Two different colors? You mean you're gonna buy them both? Is that okay? Oh, that's fine. Not having to worry about the cost of such a valuable item. I guess that's just the way the rich, huh? Valuable item? These are only 30 gold each, aren't they? Uh, um, well, if they're only 30 gold each, then I guess they're not that valuable after all. What the hell's going on here? It's a bit hot in here, isn't it? Should I open a window? Actually, it's a little chilly in here. Oh no, that's not true. Surely you jest, mister. Ah -ha -ha. 
What kind of items do I like? Cheap. Dirt cheap. Man, the cheaper the better. One must be frugal with his money. Oh, I agree. I'm the same way. I just love junk. Let me make a note of that. Uh, just because an item is cheap, that doesn't mean it's junk. Wait, why are you writing that down? Can we just go back to the cave? Okay. Hey, I don't remember telling her my name. That is kind of creepy. Let's go back to the world map. Nameless cave. That is so bizarre. I thought we were trapped in there. And then we just got free? What's wrong, Freed? Is something troubling you? I'm just debating what skills I want you two to learn. Anything works for me. Whatever skill you choose for me, I'll work hard to master it. Well, I'm grateful that. But as the one responsible for both of your lives, I can't afford to make any careless decisions. You're stubborn as always, Freed. First, a physical attack with high damage. Then a magic followed with a... a either attack, magic, or support magic. That is standard, no? That does sound pretty solid. Well, that's what I've been doing, so... Don't you think we should have a few different skills so you can be prepared for the situations? Huh, you got a good point. Yeah! Well, you're the leader, Freed. I'll follow whatever you direct me to do. Same here. So after all that, we're back to square one. <laughs> Literally, because, Jesus, I can't believe they... Still, still not convinced. That's... Still not convinced. That's a monster, but okay. Alicia actually does the real attack, right? Alright, let's do this. Um, I'm just gonna do a regular attack because I don't want to waste her magic. Oh shit, I should not have done that. Really? She's not dead yet? Man, I just... I can't believe that they... made me stood all the way over in this cave. Ooh, more gold. A sword? Uh, equipment. So she has a short sword. Huh? I got a sword right here. Who wants the sword? Items. Oh, you cannot equip it as it is. Same with this shield here. Okay. So I need to go down here. Ah! Alright. Um... Fireball. Yeah! Alright, awesome. Ah, I'm getting used to this. And I also got a hundred juice. Which is good for me. Wish I could just go to the grocery store and get a hundred juice right now. Is this environment actually just done? That was all? I thought we had to figure out what was causing the earthquakes. No, we can't go in there. Uh, still not... How is that a monster? Oh, snap! Alright, well... I guess there really was... What? Alright. I guess that was it. I mean, I've gone everywhere. At least according to the world map. So. I guess return? No? How did I ever leave this place in the first place?
Hmm. Alright. Guess we'll get out of here. Maybe that monster was the cause of it all. I just, I didn't think so, but okay. Oh, God damn it. Oh! Dungeon Travelers 2, you fucked up my video. <laughs> it's like, where am I going? Okay, I'm interested. Let's attend a lecture. Welcome to the secret classroom. This place was constructed to help convey adventure know-how to to newbies of an RPG game. A genre. Monsters run rampant outside the castle walls, but these lectures will prepare you for anything. A lecture a day keeps the monsters away. The subject of our first lesson is as follows. Skills. This is a very important topic, so please pay close attention. What, you've heard this one before? No, no, this is certainly not the case. You must have dreamt it. Please do not insert your insignificant opinions where they do not belong. <laughs> oh man, you sound like my YouTube comments. Deep breaths, deep breaths. So, like, what's a skill? This explanation is for those of you who may be thinking that very question now then. Saying, I can wear the same underwear for a week straight, no problem. Or things like, yoga's already spoiled by definition, so expiration dates? No, thank you. A few weeks past is still A-OK. -okay. Maybe a bit sour, but definitely delicious. Or immediately thinking, heh, she totally wants me, after simply exchanging glances with someone. We will not be discussing those kinds of skills. <laughs> well, perhaps those traits would, be, would prove to be useful one day if properly honed. Although the world may look down on you, Anyways, in this world, skills are special abilities such as physical techniques or magical spells. They are utterly essential components, utterly essential components of your field explorations. However, even as your level increases, skills will not learn themselves. You must first distribute skill points. These slides will help explain from here on out. Please look here. First, please select skill custom. Oh, okay. Next, choose the girl you want to level skills for. Awesome. Nevertheless, please use your imagination and think of them as girls, regardless of age or appearance. <laughs> okay. When you select one, their skill list will be displayed as shown here. From this list, you can select the skill you wish to level, but there are two very important points to be careful of in this moment. The first is here. The other is here. The skill points skill points left refers to the skill points that the selected character currently has available for use. SP, on the other hand, shows the number of skill points required to level that skill. As an example, let's have Miss Melvy level the air cutter skill. Oh, okay. I I get it. That means in order to use this, you will need to spend five TP. Got it. So she needs two, I've got two, I put two down, and then she's got it. <laughs> I'll make Air Cutter even more devastating and slice the monsters into tiny little pieces. I'll destroy them all. If your excitement could impress even Jack the Ripper himself, please cool your jets and redirect your attention over here. Correct this area. To explain, raising the level of the air cutter will increase its magic damage and its accuracy, but TP cost and chant time will also increase. Please take note. So chant time is what in between moves. These lectures will increase in number as you grow stronger. Until next time. The girl is weird. Very, very strange. Well, where can we go now? Oh, it's just the fucking cave some more. I can't imagine where else we should go. I mean, it has to be the cave. I mean, it has to be the cave. It's not over. I mean, I, I, I don't know what else we can do, but... I'll do everything I can. Oh, man, we've been everywhere. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I think I just found out where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, 
Damn. Another sword I can't use. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, there goes that idea. It's gotta be over here then. Man. She is always up in my business. See you later! Alright, so they both leveled up. Let me just check and see what's over here. No. That wasn't the answer either. Damn. I don't know how we got locked into a cave that we can get out of. Uh, skills. Or not that. Skill custom! Occasionally attack twice. Alright. Okay. Raise the party's attack. Attract an enemy's attack. Hmm. Alright. So... This will only cost me... This will cost me two. Uh, raise the party's attack. So I'll do that. Alright. And now I'm out of points. Probably should have done something with Melvi. Definitely should have done something with Melvi. I wonder if I can take away any of my points. Nope. Once they're in, they're in. Which I've got no issue with. That's to be expected. Alright, so this is blocked because of the falling rocks. Yes, yes, you want to sunbathe. Can we just focus? Can we just focus for two seconds without you talking about, oh, I want to sunbathe. Great! Go do it on your own time. We're here to fight monsters. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Let's see, what kind of skill can I use? No, I didn't mean to defend, well, whatever. Hmm. Raging Smash! Huh, that's not really even as powerful as magic, but I guess it's fine. And, uh, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save her skills for a bit. Well, I'm definitely gonna finish this guy off because that way I can only get attacked from one person. Sayonara, Tangerine. Damn. I had a plan. I don't remember what it was, but I had one. Hmm. Yeah, before it was just doing this weird thing where it wouldn't let me say no. I guess if we can get out of the cave, it must be over. If this is like so obvious, so obvious what I'm supposed to do, then I don't get it. Like, uh, sorry guys, I, I absolutely don't understand. Like I don't, like I, I don't understand where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do at this point. I can't create any seal books. Um, identify. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, alright. Let's test out this mechanic. 
Let's identify this sword. It costs more. Way more. Ooh, long sword. Thank you. Um, that way, we can equip some new stuff here. She had a sword sword. Whoa! Like, yeah, she loses her defense there, but Jesus, that sword is way more powerful. Crazy. Oh, it takes both hands. Uh, no wonder it affects her. No, it doesn't mean I can't give some something to... Yeah, there we go. So that way increase that. Mm, don't want to mess with her intelligence. Feed. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. Hmm. Crap. I feel like I've been stuck in here for a while. <laughs> don't actually know what to do. Kind of wish there was just something I could do. Please select your destination. I don't know, guys. You know, I, I, uh, if I didn't complete that environment, why do I have every single uh, location showed up on the map except for that one tiny, 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 tiny area and that door? But there's, there's nothing else to do, you know. Um, so it's gotta go. It's time to go back to the dungeon. At least we'll test out these new weapons. All right. Let's see how this new attack works out. Oh, yeah, great. That's good. Uh, I, I want to see how it looks. Wow, 73. We're kidding. That's way more powerful. That's so weird. She missed her twice. Same attack. Huh. Weird. Alright. Huh. Damn it, I keep actually using War Cry outside of battle to increase our attack levels. Which I guess is fine, but that only works with physical attacks. Alright, well I'll try and go around that rubble. See what's on the other side. It's gotta be something. Alright, let's see. Man, that is so much more powerful. Alright, well. Not working. I mean, I'm all I'm seeing are solid lines, you know. It's like this spot I haven't explored. Probably should have thought that one through a bit more. Oh, snap. Wow, okay. We really gotta... Alright, let's get into skills. So she can heal herself. Awesome. She's good. She's got 35, so she can take a few hits. Oh, wow. What? Uh, I feel like an idiot. No, I guess not, because that wasn't the answer. Yes. 
This is so embarrassing. I don't know what to do. I mean, I could always just look it up and then do the video over again, but <laughs> I'm not doing that. Hmm. All right. Well, now, uh, back to the Royal Library. Um, oh, man. Wait, there's, there's always a button in every game, like, if you want to check out what your objective is at the current moment. That's all I need to do. That button doesn't exist. I'm sorry. <laughs> that button doesn't exist. <laughs> that button doesn't exist. That button doesn't exist. Nope. 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 I mean, maybe let's check it now. Nope. Wait, what? Oh, I can do it with this one. Okay. Cool. Was that... Was that what I was supposed to do? No, I can't go to the guild and something happens. <sighs> oh boy! Oh boy, okay! Oh man, if anybody actually watched these videos, I'd probably get some pretty nasty comments over this. But I... I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally out of ideas. I played the game. The game said, nope. Kicked me out of the uh, cave. Went back to the cave. Nothing in the cave. Over here, looking at stuff. Nothing progresses the story. You know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Level reset. Oh, I can do like a level reset? So I guess, um... Oh, come on, Freed. You can use the damn book now. Don't always act like you can't. I mean, there's really... There's really no reference to what is going on right now. So that's, uh, that's a real shame. Um, and even if it is my fault, at this point, it actually is back on the game. Because there should have been something, anything, anything, anything that would actually tell me where to go, what to do, anything. I mean, if we can take, you know, five minutes to talk about yogurt and crack jokes, we should also put that equal amount of time into actually informing the player. I'm just saying. Just saying. I mean, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll grind for a while. That sucks. Really sucks. I was actually kind of enjoying myself here. Um, but the game said no. It said stop. It said hold on there. Um... You know. There doesn't seem to be any sort of cutscene or consequence or event, interaction. Nothing. Nothing. This whole map is just repeating upon itself indefinitely because there's nowhere to go, nothing to do. I'm not okay with this. Like, I'm really not. Just kind of used to this at this point. Maybe they have to level up to a certain point? I don't know. I don't know. No, no information. Hold my fucking hand. You know? Sometimes people say, oh, I don't like games because they're... The two hand holdy. No, there are games that require that, and we are looking at one right the fuck now. Holy crap. Gotta be kidding me here. Um. We'll do one. Um. We'll do air cutter. We'll test out that attack. <laughs> no, not everything is alright. Literally no information. Fucking rocks. Can't, and I, you know, I thought about it right away, like, hey, maybe she can throw something at it, or, you know. You know just look 
good stuff. I mean, looks like a key configuration. Uh, open uh, that's uh, okay. Display whole map start. Confirm. Wait a minute, go check that. Okay. So press circle to display a whole map. Got it. False. False, false, false. Um, oh, it's the start button. Whoops. Okay, there we go. So let's go back and press start. Jesus fucking Christ, Dungeon. You know, you know. Alright, I mean, what the fuck should I do? First hour. Good job, Dungeon Travelers. You showed me who's boss. Guess we'll test out some attacks. Uh, and grind indefinitely. Until the video is over. Then we can... Not ever talk about this game again. <laughs> Got nothing more to say. Until my closing comments. Looking at empty places, just picking up random stuff. Um, did we break a sequence? Is that it? What the? What do you mean it's over here? What does that even mean? Is that just some fucking random dialogue you put in the game? Because that's stupid if you did. You should. That's that's insulting if you did. make some random dialogue about oh that's where our next thing is yeah I don't know what you fill me in yeah, I, don't, I don't even care they can beat the crap out of us I think we're just gonna have to call this video early because there's nothing more I can do. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculously stupid. Uh, for the actual parts that I played, you know, I thought the story was uh, mildly interesting. Uh, you know, the characters are, you know, kind of comical, whatever. They do the whole what, what people call fan service, which, you know, it's just basically just uh, gratuitous, uh, you know, sexual images, which, you know, I mean, they did one, it wasn't so bad, I mean, it was right in your face, and then they got over it, so hey, that's fine, uh, like the combat, I like the, the way that you can arrange your party, uh, the first person dungeon crawling, it's kind of cliche on the Vita, but I actually, uh, I enjoyed what I saw here, uh, you know, graphically, no, it's not great, but the, you know, the characters are designed well enough, if not a bit generic, um, you know, the, the whole, you know the sequence in the uh, in the in the I don't know secret classroom that was pretty funny I like what they're doing there and it's uh, it, it actually makes learning the basics of RPGs fun uh, which is cool because if you already know that stuff you'll actually want to go there and read it because you know it's got a humorous slant so even if you're not there to learn you'll be there to you know laugh and have a good time um, fuck the only issue is they just threw me out man it threw me out. I, it, I, I I swear to God, it kept asking me, hey, you want to go? I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to, no, I don't want to return the, no, I don't want to return the world map. No, 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 no. Well, all right, I guess it won't let me leave, so yes. Then since then, it's been this. Where are we going? What are we doing? Certainly didn't fight the big boss inside of there. Didn't find out what was causing those earthquakes. It just ended. Just ended. Is that a glitch? What is that? 
I don't know. Uh, you know, and, and here's the thing. Even if it was like, duh, idiot, you missed that one part. You only have to do that one thing. The very idea that if you miss that one thing, that you are just off, you're off the game. They just take the game away from you. No more for you. You didn't read that one thing. And who knows what that is? Is it a glitch? Is it uh, something I didn't read? I don't know. I don't know. And that's really fucked up. Because there has to be some part of your game that tells you what to do. And I, for some stupid ass reason, over the past few years, people have said, Oh, I don't want games to hold my hand. I don't want games to, to tell me what to do. That's fine. But in the terms of, of a game like this, there should always be the goal. What am I doing? You know why I think that? Because it's a fucking quest, and you should know what the fucking quest is, and you should know when the fucking quest is over. And this game didn't do that, so it just wandered around. And that sucks, because I actually was enjoying myself, and they decided, no, not any more of that, so we're done with that. Fuck this. Um, God, stupid, stupid, stupid choices. Um, anyway, I'm sure that won't bother anybody, sure everybody. Hey, if you're gonna leave a comment below, just be respectful. Let me know what you think. If I miss something, let me know. Uh, but I'm, you know, my experience is what it is. Uh, if your experience is different, that's fine. As for Vita games, I've got another one coming up, uh, that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, and then there's not gonna be a whole lot of Vita titles out for a while, but I just, just wanna make sure that people know I'm not abandoning doing Vita videos. No, no one watches them. I get that. You know. Uh, because no one really cares about the Vita, I do, so I will continue to do Vita videos, and I hope that if, uh, hope the very small number of people will continue to watch them. Personally, the best Vita game so far that I've played this year is Lost Dimensions. You want to see a great Vita game? Look at that. That game, awesome. Uh, this game, uh, hypothetically good, you know, but they, they we're not going to talk anymore about that. So, you know, if you don't see too many more Vita videos, relax. They're going to be showing up sooner or later. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode of the first hour. Um, you know. Let me know what you thought in the comments. <laughs> and I will see you for the next episode of the first hour. Thank you for watching.